Hello everyone, I'm Nasis and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we will going to talk about Nigerian English. Yes, there's such thing as Nigerian English. And actually, most of the country, those non-English speaking countries, we have our own version of English. So like Nigerian English, Nigerian English is still an English word, but it can only be understood by a Nigerian or somebody that is communicating most of the time with a Nigerian. Just like in the Philippines, we have our own version of English that if I will go in to say it to a Filipino, then the person can easily understand. But if I'm going to say it to other nationality, they might get confused. So, let's start. The first one. Hmm. This is very, very common. As in, very, very common. Leg. L-E-G. Leg. <laughs> Here in Nigeria, if you say leg, they mean feet. In other country, if you say leg, it's really the legs, you know. It's a part of the body. But here in Nigeria, once you say leg, what they mean is feet. I remember one time, somebody asked me, um, Have you seen the other leg of my slippers? I got confused. I was like, other leg of your slippers. So it means your slippers have a leg. <laughs> but anyway, what actually the person meant was, other pair of her slippers but here in Nigeria they are calling feet as leg that's why if you want to buy a shoes they will going to ask you what is the size of your leg it means what is the size of your feet so don't get confused if they say leg it means feet the next one number two mineral Mineral in my country, if you say mineral, do you want to drink mineral? Well, it means mineral water. But here in Nigeria, once they ask you if you want mineral or if you want to buy mineral, it means soda or soft drinks like Coke, Pepsi, Sprite. But if they will going to ask you for water, they usually say pure water. Pure water is actually the one in the pouch. If they ask you about mineral, do you want mineral? What they mean is soft. So don't get confused if they will going to ask you, do you want mineral? Which one you want? Coke, Pepsi, Sprite? And you will be like, uh, I thought mineral is uh, water. But here in Niger, no, it's not water. It's soda or soft drinks. Then, the third one, Bayro. Biro means pen. Yes, pen. So if somebody will going to ask you, can I borrow your biro? It means that the person wants to borrow a pen from you. Just like in the Philippines, we call it ball pen. It means pen. It means biro. So that's how they say pen here in Nigeria. Biro. As simple as that. The next one. Moto. Moto. <laughs> It's not like, what is the motto of your life? Motto is actually motor. Motor, it means car for them. The thing here in Nigeria is some of their words have silent R. The R. <laughs> so if they will say motor, they will going to say it as motto. But if they will tell you, go, go, enter the motto, it means enter the car. So, moto means car or vehicle. So, don't be confused. If they will ask you, um, where did you park your moto? It means, where did you park your car? That's Nigerian English for you. Another one, pant. 
another one, pants. In other country, if you say pants, it means trouser or jeans. But here in Nigeria, if you say pants, it means panty or underwear. Yes, that's what they mean. <laughs> if they will going to say that they want to buy pants. So don't make mistake. <laughs> Don't make mistake, okay? So, if you go out and you mingle with an Adrian, make sure don't call your trouser or your jeans as pants because they might think that you are talking about panty. Okay? <laughs> the next one, gown. In other country, if you say gown, what we mean is actually like wedding gown, those evening gowns, those gowns with lace, with silk, those long gowns for formal parties, formal affairs. But here in Niger, if you say gown, what they mean is dress. There was a time I was wearing a dress and there's one lady who asked me, Auntie, why are you always wearing gown, gown, all gown? I was like, uh, I didn't bring gown and why I should wear a gown? <laughs> but what she actually meant was a dress because she usually see me wearing dress. So again, if you say gown here in Naija, what they mean is dress. And then the last one the last one pillow <laughs> honestly i thought before that pillow is a pigeon english yes <laughs> i didn't know that it is really an english word they pronounce it as pillow but it's actually parlor or living room as what i said some of their words they remove the r i don't know why they have this uh, silent r so when they were saying pillow i thought it's really a pillow i didn't know that it's a parlor but of course if you are here in Nija, if you are communicating with them you need to follow their pronunciation if you can also imitate their accent then it's good you can easily understood by a Nigerian. There was a time that somebody brought us to a joint and then the lady asked me, do you know where we are? And I was like, uh, yeah, this is a local bar. Then she says that, yes, this is beer pelo. And that's the time I realized that pelo means parlor. It's a beer parlor. I've been with the Nigerian, I think that time when I knew it, it was like we've, me and my husband, we've been together that time for maybe eight years. And that's the only time I knew that Pelo is parlor. <laughs> Another one, Nicker. Nicker means shorts. If you go to other country, they call knicker as shorts. But here in Nigeria, knicker means shorts. So if your husband asks you, where is my knicker? Well, he is actually looking for his shorts. And then another one is sindlet. Sindlet means sando or sindlet undergarment. But Nigerians are calling it Sindlet. So don't get confused if you have a Nigerian boyfriend or if you are dating a Nigerian, well, you should know those words to avoid <laughs> misunderstanding. But don't worry, as time goes by, if you are with a Niger man, if you are with a Nigerian, if you mingle a lot with a Nigerian, you can easily understand those words and it's fun it's fun because you are learning new things so that's it for now see you again in my next video bye